Hey everybody, it's Anna. Welcome to a new tarot story. We start this week with the Tuesday card and for that we have the Ten of Swords. So the Ten is the final step in a Ten card trajectory. It marks completion and victory and swords are connected to the mind. So they're about ideas and beliefs, stories and identities, all that kind of thing. So in this image we see that there's a man laying face down on the seashore with ten swords in his back. So he's dead which tells us that he's at the end of something. And in this case, the sword's trajectory tells us he's at the end of an old system or way of believing or understanding things or an old identity. So he's releasing the old, surrendering the old to the grave so that the new thing can begin. And of course, in the image we see in the background, we've got a sunrise. So the new, the new day is dawning on this man. Also, the sea is very important in this image in my in my belief, because the C and the tarot connects to intuition. So the next step for the man is he's abandoned, he's let his old life die, and now he's going to get in a boat and let his intuition guide him to the next story. So what's important here is that when you release the old way of thinking, believing old st structures or systems, um, often people will say, well, now what? Which is the mind saying, what's my action step? There isn't an action step, though, because now we're starting something new. And at the very beginning of journeys, it's not clear. We don't have enough like data built up or enough stamina built up or even structure set up to know what to do yet. So all the only action step the mind has here is to get in the boat and let the intuition start start guiding it to the new thing. So um, I always say in the in the major arcana, it's set up, the major arcana is set up like the spiritual journey itself. There's an action step followed by a rest step, an action step followed by a rest step. So this is actually an action step. The release of the old is also, they're both ones. The 10 and the one are the same number, right? They reduce to the same number, which means the ending uh, the release is also the beginning. It's planting the seed. So he's in this moment of death. He is planting the seed of the next part of the journey. And after the step, the planting of the seed, you have the germination, which is you're now waiting. You're just waiting for, for the next thing to surface. So there is a time of sort of disorientation and resting and just faithful waiting that happens when you release the old. And I think that's what we're being told to do this week. We're releasing the old, um, getting ready for the new to surface. In the meantime, we're just going to try to stay calm and hopeful and faith-filled. See you tomorrow for our next card. Bye.